Welcome, my creatures of the night in Webtown, to an indie Wednesday on Crypto Comics. I want to read your ink. As we inch our way ever closer to the end of October, it's time to dive into some horror comics, or should I say, horror inspired comics. This autumnal season, beginning with Movie Men Number no. 1 by Jeremy Lott and Doug Curtis. This is a silly little indie comic designed for laughs rather than screams of terror. Clearly inspired by a love of horror films and radioactive B-movies, Jeremy Lott has penned a simple tale set in a multi-screen megaplex movie theater, while Doug Curtis has brought a modest artistic style that, for me, is evocative of the work of Gary Dumb on Harvey Pekar's American Splendor in the 1970s. This is not a style most modern readers appreciate, in my opinion, but I feel that it helped visually ground movie men in a corner of the comic book universe seldom modern fans even know exists. Other artists would have done something much more dynamic with the exact same story, but Doug's artistic choice has provided a layer of hidden history that fits well with the general concept of the comic itself. Now let's take a little trip into the pages of this indie comic, shall we? Welcome to Mega Movies, home of the really big popcorn. What would you like to see today? Perry Blotter and the Inmate of Alcatraz, two thirty. That'll be nineteen dollars. It's Mega Monster Popcorn, Tess. Get it right. Sorry, Carl. Here's your Mega Monster Medium Soda. Have fun in there. Upsell, Venus. Upsell. It's how we make our money. Movies ain't keeping the lights on. And I love Venus here, clearly evocative of Vampira or Morticia Adams. Theater 5, to your right. Save this ticket if you want to buy Mega Monster Popcorn. Brad, it's when you buy popcorn. That's how we keep the lights on. Yes, sir. Anything else? Where's Nikum? Checking the exit door in 5 so no popcornless punks sneak out. <gasps> Bomb! What? Where did the dinosaur go? What do you think that was? Maybe there was a mouse. Should we call an exterm- Young lady, what is your name? Cherry. Cherry, I was watching Mummy Mania. I want my mummy back. Is something wrong with the picture? The mummy went missing from the movie. What do you mean? One minute he was on the screen, then poof! Characters are on a smoke break waiting for him to come back. Weird. Here's your money back, ma'am. Sorry about that. Carl won't like that refund. We had a stampede, and that lady was nuts. Enough drama for one... Oh, dear. Welcome to Bellingham's Brightest Jewelers. Oh... Free plug for the great state of Washington, Bellingham. You can't see it, but I'm going to give it myself high five. (laughs) Ancient royals were entombed with their riches and jewels. Torn from the screen, unsure of what to do, this prince of Egypt decides to punish this grave robber. (laughs) Is this a good idea? Carl will dock our pay. Focus, Tess. Mummy, not money. What are we going to do? Shunk! It just appeared in my hand! Cherry, watch out! I want a space blaster. Wake me up from this bad dream. Hey, Nikum, what happened in five? You okay? That was some big feat. I don't think anything is broken, though. Why are the cops here? Because there was some sort of bomb thing in the theater. Why isn't SWAT here then? Because it wasn't a normal bomb. It was some kind of... Guys, get in here. A reality bomb? That's what I'm calling it. It knocked the monsters off the screen. The mummy materialized across the street. Tess and Cherry took it out. Where did this come from? The reality bomb brought monsters here. And also gave you weapons to defeat them. So what happens to the monsters? The mummy's back on screen one. Where's the dinosaur? Guys, we've got to get to the mall. And that is just the beginning of Movie Men number one by Jeremy Lott and Doug Curtis. As you can see, it's not necessarily a groundbreaking story, but rather a new twist on an always enjoyable idea. As a secret big-time fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger's last action hero, 
A comic like Movie Man fits well with my personal taste. This is a story that could obviously be expanded upon. The first issue felt like just a small taste of what could really be accomplished with the concept of movie characters coming into the real world. Certainly in the modern era of movie making, where the more meta the flick gets, the better the fans enjoy it, a comic like Movie Men just might be ripe for big screen success if it were fleshed out more and turned into a screenplay rather than a comic. If you want to read the rest of Movie Men, surf over to wickedpublishing.net, where you can find not only physical and digital copies of Movie Men, but a ton of other independently published comics for your reading pleasure. That's wickedpublishing.net. I'm going to spell it for you. W-I-K-I-D publishing.net. W-I-K-I-D publishing.net. And hey, while you're out spending money online, pick up one of my many amazing novels at enterthelostlibrary.com, including my spooky story for kids of all ages, Megawatt versus the Vampires of the Sun. Now available on Amazon and at enterthelostlibrary.com. Until next time, I remain your humble neighborhood fanboy. Remember to support indie comics, but support your boy Crypto first. Enter the lostlibrary.com. I'll see you on the next review, right here at Crypto Comics. When his girlfriend is kidnapped by an aging supervillain, Noah and his roommate Cody must unite a team of unorthodox superpowered citizens to not only rescue the girl, but stop the villain's plans of world domination. In Nobody's Hero, the latest novel from your boy Crypto Comics and The Lost Library. Available right now in digital and print form on Amazon.com.